Right, what's wrong with this one? This has been sent by a customer. And that is a bad power supply. That is a bad power supply. I can hear it fizzing. Anyone hear that? Yeah. Right, so I can hear a noise coming from this. Um, from the power supply. So that means that the cap's going to have failed, the 450 volt cap, or 420 volt cap, whatever it is, in this. So, yeah, should be a fairly straightforward fix for this. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. As the industry leader in custom PCB manufacturing, PCBWay is the only solution you'll ever need for all your engineering projects. With affordable custom PCBs, flexible PCBs, CNC and 3D printing, you can get your project off the ground today. With the PCBWay store, you can purchase development boards, tools and everything you'll need to get started. Prices are competitive and the possibilities are endless. From multimeters to microchips, PCBWay have it all. And if you're struggling for inspiration, you can find pre-made projects by like-minded engineers. To learn more about the PCB Way store, shared projects, or any of PCB Way services, head to the video description where you'll find links to the great products and services that PCB Way offer. Now let's get back to the repair. It's been opened before. Someone seems to have mangled it a little bit. The back cover's broken. So this does need a service, it does need cleaning. Might as well take that off because it's it's been pulled off anyway. Yeah, so this does need cleaning, but the main issue is gonna be down to the PSU. Damn it, I left a screw in. <laughs> Did I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Or did I? No, it's just been mangled. Of course it has. What the? Come on. What's going on? Why are you now come out? What's someone done to you, mate? I have to take it apart completely. Someone's really bamboozled this, isn't they? Bunch of beds. How do people do it? I don't understand. Wow, that hair look. Look at that. Really? And that one. They've actually bent the freaking thing over. I sent it to you as a joke. <laughs> what, this? No, this isn't yours, mate. Nope, not yours. Not yours. I will say, though, if anyone did send a console as a joke, and I actually opened it up and started working on it, and then they told me, it would get sent back in as many pieces, pieces as I could possibly send it, as I could possibly get it in, without breaking it. But no until the return postage got paid. And I would literally give four weeks to the day to pay the return postage. And after that, I'd consider it abandoned. No, nope, it doesn't belong to you anyway, mate. I've just typed the serial number in on the booking. <laughs> I have a tracking system, mate. I can track the serial numbers. Because honestly, that would be something I wouldn't appreciate. Like, no offence to anyone, but that would be something I wouldn't appreciate. Like, wa wasting time. Like, considering I work as a no fix, no fee as it is, like, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't tolerate that. No offence to anyone. Let me just check out this power supply real quick. Uh, actually, let's plug it in. Did anyone hear that then? Yeah. 
sizzling. As soon as it gets put under load, it starts sizzling. So yeah, that's going to be the issue with this one. Uh, well, I mean, unless we've actually got a, a board issue causing that, but in my experience, that's never going to be board related. It's, it's going to be um, down to the power supply. I could just change the power supply, but that would make for a boring stream. Ugh, wow, that's actually gone. I've never had that foam just break away like that. Like, that's actually gone rotten. Probably from heat. Don't do what I'm doing, guys. Working on power supplies is dangerous. I'm doing it because I'm a nutcase. I don't recommend you doing it. Working on power supplies can be dangerous. Especially with where I just put that... Um, the tweezers as well. There's a 450 volt or 420 volt cap literally right next to there. And that will hold a charge for a long, long time. That will hold a charge for a long time. If you're going to open them up, use a plastic spudger. Don't use... Uh, don't use metal tools like I've just done. If you're gonna if you're gonna open them up. Right, right. What do we have on this cap? What kind of voltage have we got? Yeah, it's completely dead. It's actually discharged because it can't hold a charge. Um. which is quite rare for it to completely die as soon as... Like, for it to completely lose all power as soon as you unplug it. That's completely rare. That's very rare. Um, and by the way, it's not just that capacitor which is dangerous as well. There's several areas on the board which can give you a really nasty zap. Okie doke. So I need to... Desolder this plate. Just desolder that. There we go. There we go. Right. So this 450 volt cap is going to be what's making the noise on the um, on the power supply. I can't see any bulging or any kind of leaking or anything like that. But honestly, it's it's always the cap. It's always that 400 cap. Uh, that 400. Well, I'll say 450 because I'm used to working on the PS5 uh, power supplies. It's 420 volt cap. But this cap always fails in the uh, the One X. And, uh, yeah, normally just replacing this cap will fix the issue and get the console back up and running again. Unfortunately, I cannot find my blade. Oh, there it is in front of me. I just need to slice this putty. I'll say this again. Working on power supplies is dangerous. I don't recommend it at all. And if you've got a bit of a dicky heart, I definitely don't recommend working on him. Right, there we go. It's going to break away this putty that's holding the uh, cap to the board. I did have a discharge resistor by me, by me as well, by the way. Um, so I could have safely discharged that resistor, that capacitor, if it 
had any current in it, if it had any voltage in it. There we go. There's the old cap. So yeah, there's no signs of bulging or anything on that cap. It's just, just failed. There you go. One bad cap removed. Let's just clean up this area. Get rid of this putty. Well, as best I can. Mm, still got a bit of that pin stuck in there. Not anymore. Yeet. Brand spanking new. These are the good ones as well. Rubicon, baby! These are not the capacitors. These are the good capacitors. I just need to... Clean up this solder. Well, I'll clean it up as best I can. Yeah, Rubicon, Nitticon, Panasonic, they're all pretty good. Let's make sure I get orientation correct. Little bit of flux. Right, now the question is, can I find my side cutters? Yeah, the answer to that's gonna be no. <laughs> or at least not immediately, anyway. That'll do it. Brand spanking new cap. Okie doke. Let's gather up the majority of that solder. Ow. Might help if I had a decent sized tip on here. Oh, I hate trying to flow these. Absolutely hate them. Let's hold that in place. There you go. Ah, I'll sort that in a minute. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting these back together tomorrow now anyway. Um Right, thermal paste. Get rid of anything metal from around the desk. Push everything else to one side and pretend I've cleaned up. Because that's just the law. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll put this back together fully before I um, reassemble it. Like as in this that foam and stuff, it's not important for now. For now, let's just give it a test. Just flip that round so it's facing the right way. 
Do be do 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 do. Power cable. Bang. And boom. Jobs are good in. Power supply works. And so does the Xbox. Boom. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, wait, see, when you move, you're going to hire someone to clean your desk. <laughs> I think I need someone. <laughs> His desk is no comment yet. Desk's always messy. Um, right, yeah, job done. Console working. Power supply no longer making weird noises. You were right, cap 420 volts. Yeah, it's always them caps, mate. But yeah, job done. Console's working. Happy, happy days. I am happy, and I'm sure the customer will be too. Consolefix.shop is nice for giving you them caps. I agree. Consolefix.shop is very, very kind for giving me these caps and allowing me to trial them, make sure they work before he sells them on his store. Don't know who the guy is, he's just a nice guy. But, yeah, he gave me some caps and uh, he said, yeah, test these for me before I sell them on my store, so... Nice. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, he's a mystery. Yeah, price for this job. I, I'll charge £50 for this, um, for replacing that cap. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, streams are all over the place at the minute. They're random. Don't know when I'm streaming. Don't know when I'm not streaming. Um, I just basically stream when I get time. So, yeah, thank you all. I really appreciate it. Um, take care, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next in the next blah, 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 in the next one. Where in Brum you from? I'm not mate, I'm from Wolverhampton. Uh yeah, take care everyone. See you all in the next one. Peace.